Hello, boys and girls. Today for math, we are going to use representations to find fraction names for whole numbers. Now remember, one is a whole number. If I have one whole pizza, I have one whole pizza. I can take that whole pizza and I can divide it into equal pieces. So when we talk about whole numbers and using them, um, taking fractions to represent whole numbers, this is what I mean. If I have one whole pizza, and I cut it into thirds, and I eat the whole thing, how many pieces did I eat? I ate three whole pieces, right? Out of three total. That means I ate the whole pizza, right? Some other ways I can represent this would be, if I had a whole pizza and I cut it into five equal pieces, cut it into five equal pieces, and I ate the whole thing, I ate five out of five. Any number over itself is equal to one, one whole, right? So six over six would be one whole. Today, we are not only going to be talking about one whole, we might be talking about two holes, or three holes, or four holes, so on and so forth. So think about that. If we had four whole pizzas, and we're gonna cut them into equal slices, how many equal slices do we have in all? That is our objective for today. So let's try one together. Okay, what are some equivalent fraction names for one, two, and three? So if you look on this first number line, we have zero, one, two, and three right? Okay. Those are whole numbers. Now we want to take those whole numbers and we want to divide them into equal parts. So for this first number line, I divided each whole number. So from zero to one, I divided it into halves or two equal pieces, right? Because halves means two. So what would be this fraction right here? Okay. I have one half Right here would be two halves, right? Two over two is equal to one. So two, whoops, sorry. My computer is going very slow today. Two over two is equal to one. Okay, if I kept on going, this would be three over two. And then four over two. So here, when I have two holes, I also have four over two. So, oops. So two is equal to four over two. And if I keep on going, I have five over two five halves, and then six halves. So six halves is equivalent to three. So six over two would be equivalent to three. Okay, let's keep going and try to find another equivalent fraction for one hole, two holes, and three holes if we were dividing them into thirds. So thirds, here we have one third, two-thirds, three-thirds, up, oh, three-thirds is equivalent to one whole. So just like we said before, any number over itself is one whole. So three is the numerator and three is the denominator. Three-thirds is equal to one whole. If we keep on going and continue to label these Tick marks, four thirds, five thirds, six thirds. Okay, six thirds is equivalent to two. So here we have six over three. And let's keep going to figure out what fraction is equivalent to three. We have seven thirds, eight thirds, and nine thirds. 
So nine thirds is equivalent to three wholes. So nine over over three. Some of you might notice a pattern already. If you don't, that's okay, but I'm going to point it out here. If you notice, three over three and two over two is equal to one. What is two divided by two? That's equal to one. What is three divided by three? That's also equal to one. So if we say three divided by three, it's equal to one because it's equal to one whole. Let's see if the same works for number for two holes. What is four divided by two? It is two. What is six divided by three? Again, it is two. And that shows us that six over three is equivalent to two holes. The same applies to three holes. Six divided by two is three. And nine divided by three is three. So that is another way that you can figure out what a fraction is equivalent to as a whole number. You take the numerator and divide it by the denominator. So nine divided by three is equal to three wholes. Okay, so what are the ways we can name a whole numbers one, two, and three using fourths? So they're asking us to take one, two, and three and, and tell us how many fourths that would be. So how many fourths? Do we have in one hole? How many fourths do we have in two holes? And how many fourths do we have in three holes? Okay, we know that one hole as a fraction would be four over four, right? If I have this one whole cookie and I divide it into fourths, I have one, two, three, four whole pieces, right? So one whole is equal to four over four you should automatically be able to say one is equivalent to any numerator over the same denominator. The numerator and the denominator are the same. That's equivalent to one whole. That should be automatic at this point. Okay. Now, if we wanted to have two whole cookies, right, and divide them into fourths, how many pieces do we have in all? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight fourths. Now we divided this number line into fourths too. Let's see if there are four, eight equal pieces by the time we get to two holes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight equal pieces, right? For two whole pies, two whole cookies cut into four, four equal pieces, okay? And now let's see if the same works for three. We add one more cookie, right? And they're all cut into four equal pieces. We know we have eight in two equal cookies. How many do we equal pieces do we have in all for three cookies? So we have eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And if you were to count the tick marks on the number line, you would see that there are 12 equal pieces from zero to three, right? Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Now let's see if the trick from before works again. What is four divided by four? Four divided by four is equal to one. What is eight divided by four? Eight divided by four is equal to two. And what is 12 divided by four? 12 divided by four is equal to three. So you can use both of those strategies to find a number, a whole number, and its equivalent fraction. All right. Let's try this one, okay? What equivalent fraction names can you write for four using the denominators of one, two, or four, okay? So if I have four, four is our whole number and we're going to rewrite it with denominators of one, two, and four, okay? Let's take a look. We have four pizza pies, right? Four whole pies. If we cut each pie into one piece, that means we're leaving it the same, right? How many pieces do we have in all? Well. One piece, one piece, one piece, one piece. If we were to cut, count them, we'd have one, two, three, four. Four over one is equivalent to four because four divided by one equals four. Let's try it for two. 
if we take each pie and we cut it in half, right? Just cut it into two equal pieces. How many pieces do we have in all? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight halves, right? Eight halves is equivalent to four whole pies. All right, now, what if we were to cut them into, um, in, into fourths? Let's get rid of our numbers here, and now let's try cutting them into fourths. They're already cut into halves, so now we would just have to cut them in half again, right? To cut them into fourths. So they're already in halves. Let's make another cut. Sorry, it's black. It's hard to be perfect when you're drawing on the computer. Okay, so I cut them all into fourths, right? How many pieces do we have in all? I'm just going to put a dot instead of the number just because that's a little bit easier. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. We have 16 fourths which is equivalent to four because 16 divided by four equals four, okay? So now you know how to take a whole number and make an equivalent fraction. Um, I want you to head on to Pearson and try it on your own.